Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris. Now at the end of the last episode, the coalition of Panaxala Prima had just declared war on us. They are claiming ownership of the Jolwar and the Weiser systems from us. And we are looking at their fleet that's poised for attack. Um, they did not catch us completely surprised. We knew that they were planning this attack. Um, we knew this when they started to claim our systems. We knew that they might, might be aggressive towards us. Um, so we have, Jolwar is a fortified system, right? We have 2.2k fleet power on this star system just from our two gun batteries. And we also have disruption field generator, which is uh, lowering enemy shield hit points in the system, which is going to be great for us. Um, we have our fleet in the area ready to um, move in and defend the system. So hopefully, I think first things first is we're going to move these two fleets and we're going to move them into the Jorawar system and see if we can get there fast enough to defend. Um, we have our new Paragon uh, commander in charge of the MSI warship. And if uh, he proves useful in this in this war and helps us win win some important battles, um, I think we might think about promoting him to uh, the upper levels in our in our government. Um, right, um, right now, this this uh, fleet can be upgraded, um, but it can also be reinforced. So I think we're gonna go ahead and queue the reinforcements. Um, we have our uh, army on the way to deal with this rebellion on Fortalia due to the, the rage virus or whatnot. Um, and one other thing that I noticed when I logged in, is look at this de declaration of war. At first I thought it was just the coalition of Panax Alla Prima, but no, they have invited the Mythfell order into the war, which was completely a surprise to us. Um, I expected these guys to stay out of war given their their pacifist nature, but I guess they they hate us enough Even though we didn't really do anything to earn that hate so We're fighting a war on two fronts here um, And I don't have a navy big enough to really fight on two fronts. So right now I'm gonna deal with these guys in the south. I Think once I get a defensive enough position in the south I might leave a smaller fleet behind here and then move my main fleet up to the north. Um, I'm gonna have to deal with them one at a time. If these guys want to come in and start encroaching on the north while I'm still in the south, that might be what happens. We might have to just ignore the north until we can come back and defend it. Um, so yeah, it's not ideal, but we're gonna see if we can make this war work. Now, um, it was uh, recommended to me in my last video. Um, you can see that we're missing a war goal. Um, so, if we're going to be fighting a war against these guys, um, uh, we might want to we might want to uh, impose some war reparations on them. So, I think a fair war reparation would be controlling the Ubalon system. Um, we could make more claims, of course, but I am not super interested in conquering these folks. Um, I don't want to take all these systems from them. I really just want this system because that's going to make it a lot easier to defend in the future. That means that the only two systems we have to defend on this front are Jolwar and Yubalon, and they're right next to each other. So we can easily hop our fleets back and forth between there. So I think getting this system is going to be really good for us. Um, if by the end of the war we decide to reassess this and we want to claim more systems, we can. We may also claim some systems from uh, the Mythfell Order up here. But for now, I think just this one modest claim is going to be good for us. Um, if we go into government and we look at our policies and edicts, is there anything that's going to help us with like military campaign? We can up our naval capacity. It wouldn't be bad. That's going to cost 42 unity, though. I think we're good for now. Um, if we need more naval capacity, we can obviously um, reconsider that. Okay, so I think without further ado, we are going to have to unpause the game. Um, now, oh, one more thing. I think there was a project to upgrade this MSI warship, and I think it takes a construction ship. So I think once this construction ship is done building this research station, we're gonna move the construction ship over here, 
and we're going to try and uh, upgrade the MSI warship. Okay, so let's see. System survey what complete. are they doing? Are they going to move up into Jorawar, or are they going to move over into the Wisa system? All right. I am happy that they're splitting up some of their fleet, at least, to move into the Wisa system. That is undefended, and we can come and claim it later. I'm happy happy that they're at least splitting up some of it but they are moving the vast majority of their fleet into the Joel war system that's um about 3.5k of fleet power versus our 2.2 and we'll have to see if we can get our reinforcements to come in time um we have a consumer goods shortage um so i think i'm gonna build a factor on this world See if we can get on top of consumer goods because the last thing we need while fighting this war is an economic crisis on our hands. Oh boy. This is stressful. This is stressful for sure. Research complete. All right, we finished researching better lasers, uh, no, uh, better shields, and now we have some options. We can get fusion reactors, which will be good. We can get upgraded lasers, which will be good. Uh, we're not going to use them on our corvettes, but we might start to use upgraded lasers on our larger ships. Um, or we can get moat, volatile moats. Volatile moats aren't super important to us right now. I think they're more important in the mid and late game. Um, lasers are going to be better for us. So we're going to go for lasers. Um, that's going to improve the defenses on our space stations as well, because I think they use lasers. Station under attack. All right. Construction complete. Let's check out what's happening with this. Let's check out what's happening with this, um, this battle. Our poor station. I don't know if it's going to be able to handle all this, all this onslaught. Oh yeah, they're just chewing through our complete. shields. Construction complete. Okay, so look at all these um, construction completes. Those are our um, uh, anchorages, which are increasing our naval cap. So our, our naval cap is finally at a manageable level. Okay, our reinforcing fleet has arrived. It's only 1.8k. I don't know if that's going to be enough. But it's going to have to be what it is. For now. Okay. We have uh, reinforcements to the fleet. Okay. Great. Okay. Our fleet's coming in. Take some of the pressure off of that space station. Where's our flagship? Is our flagship coming in? Oh, our flagship's probably not going to come in time. Council agenda ready. Council agenda ready. Strong on our own. That's giving us pop growth speed plus 10%, stability plus 10, encryption plus 2, trade value minus 10. Good. Okay, what do we want next? Honestly, display of power looks pretty good. War exhaustion gain minus 5% and military ethics attraction. Yeah, the war exhaustion gain minus 5%. That's exactly what we need. We're in the middle of a war. Okay. So our reinforcements came. They might have come a little too late. Um... If they take this system, at least we will have made them pay dearly for it. Where's our recovered asset? Still a ways off. Still a ways off. System survey complete. Okay, it's gonna be close. We might just be able to pull this off. And we're encountering another alien civilization. And Waltham. Okay, let's pause this battle. Where's Waltham? Okay, here's Waltham. Okay, where are the aliens? Oh, 
There's a battle. Or no, maybe those are, that's, that's probably a bug from my mod. It's probably left over from the current space battle. I don't see any ships in, in the Gualtum system. Interesting. We will get, um, we'll get some folks signed on to it. Um, yeah, I don't see the aliens, so for now, guess we'll have to wait to see what kind of aliens those are. Um, how's the fight going in the Droll War system? It's going. We're losing. But we're putting up a Valiant fight, and I think we might be delaying just long enough to get this in here, and so we might actually end up winning. I don't know how many of our Corvettes we're going to lose in the process. Um, Construction complete. But it was worth. It was a valiant sacrifice. It was worth it. Um, to give time for our our giant flagship to come in. I remember being upset that we accidentally built the flagship instead of the the um, the habitat. But actually, this flagship Planetary might be the only begun. thing that that saves us here. Okay, and we're we're taking back the planet from the rebels. Um, we're taking back the planet from the rebels. Um, yeah, hopefully that works out well. Um, I'm not going to watch that. Planetary invasions aren't exciting to look at. I want to keep looking at the Joel War battle. So here our MSI warship comes in and it's launching... It's launching its weapons in. Alright. I think it might just save the day. Archaeological site pending. There is an order to the rat's chaos. In a somewhat official looking building towards the center, there is a digital inventory of every single item complete with their origins, gross misinterpretations of their intended uses, as well as some highly unhelpful notes on where to find them. Maybe we can find uh, records of the rubricator in here. Oh, yes, I just need to read the next paragraph. The rubricator, described as a thingamajig maker with magical powers, wow, that's super specific, has its place to the right of the Empress's lilac ribbon, under her snout swabs, on the four-legged box with the funny face. <laughs> Whatever that is. Wow, that's very helpful. That's definitely going to help us find it. Okay, um... I think, we, I think we've done this. Invasion over, we have successfully invaded Fortalia. The enraged colonists on Fortalia have been pacified by our troops. Unfortunately, without understanding the cause behind their unexplained behavior, we have no way of knowing how long it will be before violence erupts again. Our scientists strongly recommend commencing a targeted medical inquiry before any more tragedies occur. We must find the cause. I thought we already found the cause and we had vaccines. Ah, uh, okay. This is stressful, but at least we have stability in this system again. Okay, we've retreated one of their fleets. They only have one more fleet remaining. I think we've just about done it. Unusual energy readings. We briefly detected some unusual energy readings emanating from this planet. It might have been a glitch in our systems, or it could be a sign of something more. Well, let's go ahead and figure out what that is. Uh, meanwhile, let's get a construction ship. Um, we know that there are aliens here. Okay, so there's the Heth men Menace in this system. Let's see what we can see about them. Okay. Looks like they control this system. They have a space station. So it's another alien empire. Okay. Um, so yeah, once we get this construction ship, once we get this construction ship to, um, upgrade the MSI warship, I think we're going to move it down and we're going to start staking some claims over here. Um, so we can, uh, gain some more control over this portion of the galaxy. Um, um, before the... What, are the, what is this called? The Heth Menace gets control of it. Okay, have they taken the Weezer system yet? Mm, just about. Just about. Okay, so they took Weezer from us, but we are keeping Droll War, which is the far more important system. Okay. 
I think we're going to push into Cesara and Yubalon. Okay. Let's unpause the game. Our construction ship made its way into the middle of this. Why? Space I have no clue. Okay, I could probably turn this up from slow speed. Um, the battles are nice to watch on slow speed, but they take forever. Okay. Fleet combat. Okay, this is Weezer. They lost no Corvettes and they took the station. That's... expected. This was the combat that we are most interested in. All right, they only lost four Corvettes. That's disappointing. That's real disappointing. Okay, um, well, it is what it is. So, construction ship? Where is our construction ship? Upgrade. Upgrade the flagship. Our Starfleet is missing in action. Okay. That's unfortunate. And we haven't seen any sign of the Mythfell Order up north yet. Alright. Hostile fleet detected. Hostile fleet detected. Where? Magnetic reversal. The magnetic reversal of Waltham C1 experienced a complete reversal. The magnetic field uh, experienced a complete reversal while it was being observed by the ISS de Aram. This rare event has interchanged the positions of the planet's magnetic poles. Fortunately, it was all recorded by the sensors of our ship, providing our scientists with a lot of valuable data. Intriguing. Um, yeah, where's the enemy fleet detected? Please tell me it's not up here. Please tell me it's not up here. Okay. Looks like it's not up here. I... Maybe it's this fleet here. I don't know what they're doing back here. Alright. They might try to go to Jorawar, maybe? Okay. How are we doing on upgrading the flagship? Slowly but surely. Might be worth autom uh, repairing this automated shipyard. That'll just give us some extra... Some extra Anomaly fleets, found. which wouldn't be too bad. Anomaly found. At first glance, this moon does not seem capable of supporting living beings, but nevertheless, we have detected signs emanating sign, life signs emanating from somewhere beneath its frozen surface. All right, let's figure out what's going on. Okay, so we have two available jobs on this world. Um, we're doing great on food. We don't actually need any more food right now. So it might be worth getting some more unity from this planet. Um, I'm going to try and avoid as much as I want to build an industrial district here. I'm going to try to avoid doing that. Um, because I want to build most of my industrial districts on this planet. So we're going to build another industrial district here. Um, and after that, we are going to build gene clinics. On Desadia, our generator world, we could always use more energy. So we're going to go ahead and build a generator district. On our capital, we're doing good on jobs. Okay. I wonder if it's worth going over our starbase capacity to fortify Sysmok. And I think I already I already know the answer. It's gonna be worth upping our starbase capacity in the short term for security. First contact event. Our senses have detected a particularly clear repeating signal from the Heth Menace that seems to offer linguistics excellent material for codifying their language. They are optimistic that we will be able to make some significant progress in in the back of this stroke of luck. Fantastic. When is our um, fleet due to return? Oh, just now. Okay, where are they? Okay, we need to upgrade. We need to reinforce.
biocomputer fuel. We have managed to extract some data fragments from a particularly well-preserved wool biocomputer fossil. This 10 million year old relic appears to contain pedagogical information intended for immature members of the species. Not yet ready to receive the full range of the hive mind's neural connection, young bull or saplings were introduced to growth techniques, horticulture, and nutrition in a more curated experience. These findings suggest bull society prized terrestrial landscaping and ecosystem management and were highly dependent on it for their survival. Interesting. Keep it up. Level up. Okay, just what we need. This is our uh, faction leader. Um, I don't really like either of these. But planetary defense army, I guess that could be good. Expertise. This is our head of research. So we can give them an expertise in propulsion, which is going to give us a lot more propulsion related technologies. And I love propulsion. Um, I think speed and evasion are like the most important factors for Corvette warfare. Um, or we can give them expertise new worlds. This is going to give us access to terraforming and whatnot. <laughs> Both really good. Can I get them both, please? Okay, we're gonna take propulsion. Military is a more pressing, um, more pressing focus for us. Okay, 26% of the way to upgrading our flagship. We'll see just how powerful our flagship becomes. Ocean beneath the ice. Deep scans of Shrudama 4A have revealed a large ocean heated by hydrothermal vents beneath the ice mantle covering the surface. Ah, uh, this must be that moon with the signs of life. Uh, lead scientist Kali de Den dispatched probes from the ISS Yuvaldim that drilled through several miles of thick ice and were found the water below teeming with what appears to be life. We will need more resources to conduct a thorough study of the many unique life forms inhabiting this ocean. Deep sea expedition. That sounds like a lot of fun. We're gonna prepend this job. Deep sea expedition, yes. All right. How are the upgrades going? It appears they're not going. Oh, here we go. Ships upgraded. Okay, we're gonna send it to repair. Okay, we're eventually going to need to push up here and down and around here to get Hostile control of detected. the Weezer system back. Hostile fleet detected. Okay, they don't have enough to challenge us. As long as they don't have enough to challenge us, we're okay. Anomaly found. Surface beacon. We are writing. We are receiving a weak signal from the surface of this planet. The source appears to be some kind of tracking beacon, and this is from the Waltom system. All right, let's figure out what it is. Timed project. Debris. Debris and Jorwar. Oh, of course. Um. Yeah, I think once we're done. Um, surveying around here we're going to move our science ships back and we can research the debris and learn what we can from the wreckage construction complete construction ship here oh. is done let's actually move this construction ship down here um, we might need both construction ships um, let's research this project that's going to repair the research automated complete. shipyard and then we might start taking some claims out down here um, against the heth menace because we don't know um we don't know if the Heth Menace is going to be friend or foe. And if they are foe, well, we're going to want to stake as much control as we can. All right, we have access to blue lasers. This is going to be really good. This is going to make our uh, defensive stations better. Even though our ships don't use lasers, our space stations do. Um, we can get access to barrier point defense. Wouldn't be bad. We can get us plasma throwers. Wouldn't be bad. I think point defense is what we're going to go for. I don't really use uh, plasma throwers much in the game. Ancient survey marker. 
A small short-range transmitter has been located on the surface of Waltham 3. It appears to be an ancient survey marker placed here eons ago to mark a large deposit of precious metals. The miners the miners it was meant for evidently never arrived as the deposit is still here. Well, that's great news. That's great news indeed. More minerals for us if we can end up controlling the system. Though those minerals might just go into the hands of the Hess Special aliens, project more likely complete. than not. Lead scientist Kali Duden has returned from the expedition. Ah, this is the deep sea expedition that studied the biosphere of the seas beneath the ice mantle of Sudama 4A. Several ice, uh, several large species native to the lower regions of the global sea have been found to produce unique inorganic molecules with immense healing properties. If this molecule is successfully harvested in large enough quantities, it could revolutionize the field of medical science and may even have industrial applications. Wow. That's super interesting. We found living metal deposits on, on this planet. Um, and our scientists leveled up from discovering this. Uh, we can give them Prospector, which... Um, chance to increase resource deposit size, plus 20%. Yes. Yes, that is really good. Even though we're not going to be doing that much surveying anymore, um, that's, still, that's still really good. Okay, how are we doing on this? Okay, we're almost done. I'm getting antsy to get that finished. How are we doing on consumer goods? Still not great. Heth Menace. Reconnaissance flights uh, conducted in the Mar Adeta system have reported a significant Heth Menace presence. This is, of course, the... Yes, we, we already knew they controlled this system. Although we have not yet identified any planetary settlements of note, a preliminary target list is being put together in the event that the aliens prove hostile. Several interesting transmissions have been intercepted, which may provide us with enough insights to isolate their language. Worry. Um, we need more alloys. Let's buy in some alloys. Let's reinforce the fleet, and let's move to the Joral War system. I think we need to have one more definitive victory against them, and then we might consider moving north um, to defend. I need to see how much improved the uh, upgraded flagship is going to be. If it can hold its own, then we can just move the fleet away. Anomaly found. Strange readings. This planet emits strange magnetic waves, quite unlike anything we have seen so far almost as if it is trying to communicate with us. It is only logical to investigate this unique phenomenon. We may have just encountered an extraordinary example of life on a planetary scale. Yes. Okay, we have a lot more war exhaustion than they do, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Construction complete. Construction complete. This must be the suit the Sysmax system. Okay. Um we needed this. Gun batteries. And eventually a nebula refinery would be nice, but right now I need to be thinking defensively. Okay. Make it just a little bit harder for the Mythfell Order to um, attack us. System survey complete. Diplomatic communications from the Coalition of Panic Sala Prima. They're insulting us. We're at war. What's the need to insult us? We already know you hate our guts. The library. A thick layer of glass and metal covers this otherwise barren planet, perhaps hinting at some sort of cataclysmic event in the past. That's cool. Is that in the Waltham system? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, I'm sure the Heth aliens are probably going to get control over this system before we do, so we might never be able to uncover that mystery. Eighty-five percent. Good news. So I think we're going to go Halito. Um. Then probably Orfeel, and then Regunov if we can. All right. 
So here we are. Our weakened fleet has um, reconverged. Okay, we can't have another costly victory like that again. Special project complete. Flagship upgraded. We have upgraded the flagship utilizing the existing technology on board. We have been able to reverse engineer its systems and gain better understanding of the inner workings of the vessel. All right, so it's gotten to 4.3K fleet power. That's pretty good. Okay, so here's my proposed course of action. We take our fleets. Um, the clearly upgraded fleet power is going to be nice. We're going to go into Ubalon. We're going to take back Weezer. Then we might push up into Sasara. In fact, we might take Sasara right now and then push. Yes. Let's do that. Uh, we can adopt a new tradition. We're in the expansion tree right now. New colonies. We're not really colonizing any new places. Empire size. Less empire size would be really nice. Starbase upkeep would be really nice. Let's take the empire size first, and then we'll get the starbase upkeep. Yeah. So we are at 130 currently, and that takes us down to 115. All right, not bad. Okay, um, here's the issue though. These two fleets aren't gonna be moving at the same rate. So I'm gonna set this fleet to follow the slower MSI warship. New contact. We have received uh, communi- Do they mean to say communication? I've never heard of communique. From a previously unknown spacefaring empire that calls themselves the Sovereignty of Karus. They claim to have learned of our existence by listening in on the communications of another empire we are in contact with. Um, alright. One thing at a time. Greetings from the Sovereignty of Karus. We are a peaceful nation, justly ruled by the beloved serene protector Hask Timak. Okay, so they're a fanatic authoritarian and pacifist. We don't necessarily agree with these guys. We are militarist and egalitarian, so um, they might not like us very much. Um, though we don't really believe in poking our nose in other people's business, so we're not judging them. We're not going to like intervene or anything. We don't mind. They can do their own thing. Whatever grievances might arise, whatever grievances might arise between our people in the future, we hope they can be settled through dialogue rather than violence. Okay. We will fight for our right to exist. Are they the half menace? No. They are over here. Are they friendly or are they enemies with uh, the coalition? Singing Planet. What we first assumed to be a deliberate attempt at communication has turned out to be an unusual but naturally occurring phenomenon. The magnetic waves produced by the planet, given proper handling and editing, may sound a bit like talking or even singing, but they are in no way created by a thinking being. Some of our scientists, however, find it quite catchy. It may be possible to make use of this phenomenon, possibly by hosting artists or VIPs at a station created solely to catch these signals and play them as relaxing music. Cool. Fascinating discovery. Okay. Um, so they've closed their borders to us. That's fine. They're isolationist. They're suspicious. Okay. Hostile fleet engaged. The Shattered. The discovery of another ancient bull biocomputer remnant has yielded further insights into this planetoid hive mind's history. This planetoid hive mind's history. The bull appeared to have originated from a single planet, its location unknown, as mere plant life. Prehistoric bull were all clones of their parent plants and uh, gradually developed the capacity for hive mind consciousness over millions of years of slow, peaceful growth in their home planet. Remarkable. This is all new to us. We have not discovered any hive minds so far. Research complete. All right, research complete. Starbase capacity plus two, that's just what we needed. Oh, and we can get access to terraforming. 
or, or we can get the Faculty of Archaeo Studies. Uh, I want them both. Which one do I want more? I can get terraforming later. This is a rare technology. There's no guarantee we're going to get this again. Um, yeah, we're going to take this. Um, don't get me wrong. I really want to terraform, but I'm sure we'll get access to terraforming later. Oh, I'm going to regret that decision. I'm going to regret that decision big time. All right. We're slowly but surely taking the space station. I don't think we've taken any losses so far. Ah, the rats. Back to the rats and the Rubicator. The excavating team has discovered the source of the foul stench and it is ill boding. Closer to the center of the city is an enormous piles of dried fecal matter and pools of corrosive bile that exude toxic levels of hydrogen sulfide, making protective equipment necessary to proceed further. That is so gross. The archaeologists could not identify the alien DNA in the fecal uh, matter, but the piles contained partially digested hoarders. Yuck. So it's not the rat's fecal matter. Something ate the rats, because the, the fecal matter contains partially digested hoarders. Whatever consumed these aliens swallowed them whole. Even more disconcerting is the discovery of a fresh pile. Uh-oh. We might be in danger. I think this is why somebody warned me about the Rubricator. Our scientists might die. Okay. We're close to taking the system. Then we're gonna move back, we're gonna heal up in Joelbar, and then we're gonna move into Yubilon and Weezer. We can upgrade our Tribune of Rights. Um, let's give him Homesteader too. All right, we control Sasara. And we're destroying the transport fleet. Which is great. Alright. They lost three transport ships. And we lost nothing. Great. Let's move back to Drawbar. Then we're gonna push down here. And then we might need to move up. I'm hoping they're gonna try and engage us in battle. That would be nice. Because I think we're equipped to win a battle now if they if they try. We have 2.1k minerals, um, we have 1.5k food. Okay, we're doing great on food. I'm gonna sell a whole bunch. We're doing great on minerals. I normally like to have a lot of minerals, but at the time being, I want alloys. Alloys, alloys, alloys. Okay, we're going to reinforce this fleet. And uh, we're gonna look at our ship designer. Make sure that our corvettes... We can equip them with afterburners, and I I should have done that already. Um, that's going to give them more evasion and make them stronger. A ship of this design is already being built. Okay, so let's cancel... Let's cancel the orders to build more of these. Okay, now let's update the ship design. Okay, we're going to include afterburners on these. I would like level 2 missiles, that would be nice. Okay, so we have afterburners, we have level 2 armor, we have level 2 ion thrusters. Okay, that's good. And now, we can reinforce the fleet. I don't think we're going to upgrade all of them to have afterburners right now, I don't think it's worth it. Anomaly found. Research. We briefly detected some unusual energy readings emanating from this planet. It might have been a glitch in our systems, or it could be a sign of something more. Let's find out. Okay, this construction ship's not doing anything. Well, um... Let's, um... Let's look to build an uh, outpost in the Darup system. Um, I don't want to move through enemy territory Special so project I'm move complete. this way. Special project completed. The ISS Yasorum was successfully restored power to the automated shipyards of Wardriax 6. 
the facility immediately resumed its interrupted construction order, using what materials it had on hand to build three advanced raiders of an unknown design. Unfortunately, the ancient facility broke down completely afterwards and has been deemed beyond repair. We have sent crews to the ships and commissioned them into our fleet. Okay, that's exactly what I was hoping for. So we have these two fleets, which I would like to merge. Not with the recovered asset, no. I want these two fleets to merge. Yes. Fantastic. We have some advanced ships in our fleet now. System survey complete. Science ship. Okay, so this is well and truly into their territory. So I'm gonna actually pull back and we're gonna survey the Ophield system. Glancing hit. While approaching Sudrama 5, the ISS Yavaldim suddenly received a glancing hit by several passing mass driver rounds. The projectiles were billions of years old and passed on their trajectory as they appeared to be stray rounds fired from a neighboring galaxy. <laughs> wow. What a, what a chance. What like a coincidence. After missing their intended target, they continued on their journey for untold millennia until today. The rounds we have recovered are in a, of advanced design despite their incredible age. Wow. Wow, what a coincidence. Um, let's build mining stations in the system. All right. Construction complete. Are we fully fully repaired? Then let's move into Ubalon. Sismok. All right. We're more defensive here, and the Mythfell Order don't seem to be taking any aggressive action towards us. So, I was worried about a war on two fronts. So far, it's been a one-front war, which we can totally handle. Okay, let's actually... I forgot to coordinate my fleets together. So... Let's move them both here so we can move them both in together. I don't want to... I don't want to do one at a time. Okay, 5.8k. Attack. Follow them. Close shave. The ISS to arm uh, our vessel ha had sent. We had sent to investigate the Heth men Menace. Narrowly escaped a vicious attack by their forces. It seems they had thought to seize our ship to interrogate our crew, uh, probably with the aim to swing further hostilities against us in their favor. Thankfully, the ISS to arm managed to engage their emergency FTL before it was too late. Yet another aggressive alien species. System I guess we're right to be mistrustful. It's unfortunate. I hate to see it. Okay, we're taking Ubalon. They have a fleet in this system. Can we take on this fleet? It seems like we're not going to have a choice. They're coming in. Okay, so we have 6.1k and 2.2k. How does that match up with their their numbers? Okay, no, we, we can take them. In fact, this is going to be good for us if we, if we fight this battle and win it. We're going to let them come. It would be better to fight in the Jorah War system, but I don't think they're going to fight us on our terms. Okay. Are they coming, or did they decide against it? No, they're coming. Okay, we're going to have to end the episode soon. Um... This war is definitely not a for sure win yet, right? The Mythfell Order could still come. 
I think we're gonna fight this battle and then we're gonna call it an episode. Um, they could still come in from the north and then this war could start looking completely different. But if it keeps up at this rate and it's just us versus the coalition, I think Hostile we will fleet win. Engaged. It's definitely a, it's definitely a slow war. But we're, we're gonna do this. All right, the Shattered. A Gruner data crystal has been recovered on AQ-9 uh, Q38, dating to some 7 million years ago. The data crystal contains partially readable military records pertaining to the planet's invasion. Apparently the Gruner were expecting some measure of armed resistance and were not impressed by the incredibly slow moving bull. The record describes the ease which with, with which the bull's decayed responses were circumvented in a derogatory fashion. Wow defenseless the Gruner were horrible they just like completely wiped them out destroyed their planets okay construction complete this is going all right for us construction complete okay let's um get some mining stations in the Borbagon system where's our other construction ship here Great. Starbase, Durep, let's go. Spaceport lost. All right. Research complete. They destroyed our spaceport. That's okay. We're gonna win the battle. We unlocked star holds. That's super good. We can get rail guns. We can get strike craft. We can get destroyer build speed. Starbase building and module cost minus 25%. We get living metal. Oh, so many good options. I don't think we need railguns just yet. I like to get strike craft. Strike craft hangers on our um, defensive stations is going to be really good. Okay. That was great for us. We only lost one Corvette and one Raider. Ah, oh, they didn't lose anything though. I was really hoping for a more landslide victory there. Heth Menace. Our attempts to learn more about the Heth Menace have so far been in vain. While we were easily uh, able to easily ascertain that they clearly form part of a technologically advanced alien civilization, further facts have proven elusive as they seem to be going to considerable effort to prevent us or any other eavesdroppers from intercepting any signals from them. Uh, we have therefore only managed to intercept small fragments of their language so far. However, from the glimpses we have gleamed, our linguists are confident that they will be able to decipher the communications if we just acquire a greater sample size. Alright, this is of course they want us to hack. Yes. Mm, no. Let's be cautious. Um, I can't get an another another pissed off alien empire coming at us um, we have to be really careful right now uh tiptoeing around uh diplomatically and whatnot okay let's take the weezer system and then let's run back to jorawar um actually let's do that next episode um thank you guys so much for watching um stay tuned for for the next chapter in this long 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 war um i think we're gonna think we're gonna pull it off um at the very least, I think we can pull off a status quo, which would be not bad. Um, so yeah, thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you next time.